The United States says it will send hundreds of more troops and military hardware to Saudi Arabia and the UAE, but it's describing the move as defensive in nature. Drone strikes on key Saudi oil installations last Saturday have reduced the flow of the world's oil supplies by about 5%. This is the first step we're taking with regard to responding to these attacks and again, for the reasons I outlined, to help the bolster the defenses of uh, Saudi Arabia and provide equipment to both the Saudis and UAE. A second, to, uh, uh, to uh, ensure the free flow of commerce through the strait and third, to ensure we protect and defend the international rules-based order and try and convince the, uh, uh, the um, Iranians to get back on a diplomatic path. Both Saudi Arabia and the United States have blamed Iran for the strikes, but have yet to retaliate. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called the strikes last week an act of war. And I'm Sharon Tay. New developments tonight in the attack on a Saudi Arabian oil facility. President Trump has approved sending troops to protect the region. This comes as we get our first look at the damage. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is here now with more details for us, Jeff. Well, guys, the United States is beefing up its response to the September 14th attacks with more troops, but the deployment is expected to be in the hundreds, not thousands. The president has approved the deployment of U.S. forces which will be defensive in nature and primarily focused on air and missile defense. This evening, Defense Secretary Mark Esper and Joint Chiefs Chairman Joseph Dunsford announced President Trump is sending a deployment involving hundreds of American troops to Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. It comes in response to the attacks on Saudi oil facilities, which the White House blames on Iran. Earlier today, we got our first look at the burnt out wreckage where CBS News correspondent Ian Lee was on the ground. And you can see five of these towers were hit. And when you look at the damage that was done, you can see that it's pointing in a northwesterly direction. That's likely where the projectiles came from. Tonight, a U.S. destroyer is off Saudi Arabia's coast to protect crucial oil facilities and plug the gap in the kingdom's air defenses, which some now say clearly shows they can't protect themselves. The Pentagon says the new deployment is for defensive, not offensive purposes. During a news conference with the Prime Minister of Australia, Mr. Trump boasted about his restraint that came just weeks after he talked about pummeling Iran militarily. Uh, we are... Uh by far the strongest military in the world. Going into Iran would be a very easy decision, as I said before, be very easy, the easiest thing. Uh, most people thought I would go in uh, within two seconds, but plenty of time, plenty of time. But Claremont McKenna political science professor Jack Pitney says the president's critics will ask, why isn't Saudi Arabia defending itself? Donald Trump himself has posed similar questions in the past, specifically about Saudi Arabia. A few years ago, he was tweeting uh, about their free riding on the United States. Uh, they uh, have a lot of money. They ought to be able to defend themselves. Secretary Esper says the additional troops will serve three goals. To send a clear message that the United States supports its allies, to protect the free flow of commerce, and to uphold international norms. A lot of people are going to be talking about wag the dog. It occurs right at the time when there's a lot of controversy about uh, President Trump's relationship to Ukraine. And uh, there was a similar case in the 1990s when President Clinton ordered a military strike at Iraq on the eve of his own impeachment. The secretary says the muted military response comes after Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates asked for help to protect... Ian Lee, CBS News at the Ramco oil refineries in Saudi Arabia. Iran. We will also work to accelerate the delivery of military equipment to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the UAE to enhance their ability to defend themselves. Iran has denied responsibility for the September 14th attacks, but earlier this week in Saudi Arabia, the kingdom's defense ministry showed surveillance video and debris that it says was from Iranian cruise missiles and drones used in the strikes. It is clear, based on detailed exploitation conducted by Saudi, United States, and other international investigative teams, that the weapons used in the attack were Iranian produced and were not launched from Yemen as was initially claimed. About 50% of Saudi Arabia's oil production has been taken out, which led the president to announce new sanctions on Iran's central bank. We have just sanctioned the Iranian National Bank. 
That is their central banking system, and uh, it's going to be uh, at the highest level of sanctions. But Professor Pitney points out the president has bragged in the past about his business relationships with Saudi Arabia. This is a president who has massive conflicts of interest uh, al along a wide range of policies. And so inevitably, his conflict of interest here are going to come up. So the new deployment will add to the 2,000 troops that are already based in the Middle East since June. Right now, the timetable is still unclear. Sharon and Juan.